Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently had a fiasco with YouTube. Uh, YouTube decided to monetize my channel. Uh, part of the issue with that is this is not just a non-monetized channel, but it is arranged and designed to be not monetized using government software and data that a lot of it is not allowed to be monetized. That's why this channel is very unique in essence. I went out of my way, contacted these agencies, NASA, USGS, NOAA, ESA, some Australian groups, Lear's Mouth, and so on, so on, so on. So on. Um, and this day, the software, this information, some of it is not allowed to be monetized. That's why it is such a big deal to me that uh, when I saw that YouTube decided to put advertisements on my channel and try to coerce me further to monetize the channel again, that I kind of went crazy. So I don't know if anyone <laughs> heard about that earlier. I'm, I'm committed. When I created this channel five years ago, uh, five years ago May, that this channel would be non-monetized and it would be focused on providing real information, real data, and providing facts to people, as well as hopefully eventually understanding that none of it will ever be monetized, none of it will ever become a commercial. This, that's the idea, and I am true to my word. Since the very beginning, integrity being one of my core values, I maintain that. So I got in a bit of a debate back and forth with YouTube on Twitter and on here. <laughs> And it, apparently they've removed the advertisement from the video from what I've seen. I've tested it a couple of times on multiple devices. have not seen the advertisement on there again. But I want to make it very clear that this channel is something that's a passion to me that is about giving science and information and not to be made money from. And a lot of that is because a lot of the information you see on here is under the principle that it will not be monetized. That's how I was able to get permission to use everything that I have you know, under that the, the goal of that I maintained since the day I started doing this. So that said, I wanted to point out a couple of things that are on this channel that are specific. <laughs> First and foremost, of course, we have the YouTube live cam, uh, or not YouTube live cam, sorry, the Yellowstone live cam. And one of the aspects of that, it's not always on, it's got problems, it's, it's down often. In fact, right now it's frozen again. But the point is, that is a nonprofit camera that's provided by people who have donated their time, money, and even their expertise in installing and setting up those cameras. They go through quite often because people who control those cameras often end up putting a uh, too much interest in trying to see how far the camera can turn and zoom and messing up the camera but you know it happens <laughs> uh, additionally going on the hawaii channel we get the camera live camera from usgs on the um the kilauea volcano sometimes we only have web imagery like we do at mount st helens and the long valley caldera sometimes we have uh video footage like we do in kilauea right now but all of this is paid for by tax dollars. All of this is paid through the um, well, the taxpayer. So there's no reason to monetize it. It's unethical to monetize the presentation of what you have already paid for. All of this information is completely free and completely available to all public. I've just managed it in a different way to be able to show it overlaid a lot of times with my own programs to make it work the way I need it to. But the point is, the data, the raw data and the raw imagery and everything else is still coming from the government work and is not something that's, you know, it'd be unethical for me to make money off of it is how I see it. Now, aside from that, uh, the little blue stations you see here, these are seis seismic stations that monitor move motion or movement within the ground. And this is controlled. It was originally made by a... Uh, USGS and professor personnel in Alaska and it was used to help monitor AVO and things of that sort before they had a whole system network that was unified so this was actually developed by necessity and mother of all inventions <laughs> and so this right here is once again a non-monetized public tool that's provided via the government it's now controlled by a group called IRIS. 
uh, ever since uh, the fiasco we had about four, well, five, five and a half years ago now, uh, there was a fiasco where someone did try to monetize this. And that was a big fight. That actually is one of the reasons my channel began, was dealing with that. Uh, so that said, this is also yet another free tool that's for all people. Now I have it running six times, seven times. Uh, it takes about 25 gigabytes of RAM to run it as much as I do on my computer and to maintain the time span and all the specific points as well as, you know, it, in, in essence, it does take a lot to run it uh, sufficiently and efficiently, but it's still a public service. It's, it's not meant to be something that you can charge people for, as that guy found out over five years ago. Then we go to solar monitoring. Oh, I forgot. I do have the uh, hurricane channels up now. And that's just flat out NOAA. Um, once again, I've presented the uh, satellite imagery of the, the wind motions and things of that nature uh, in two different forms. We have most of the data is actually uh, from the same source, but there is, I, I've made sure to pull from different points of data for each one in particular to try to get a compilation of elevation of wind readings. So. This, this helps me to understand a little bit about what the, vo the volcanoes, <laughs> the hurricanes are doing before we have uh, a fully active hurricane or while monitoring and following hurricane before it makes the landfall. So, of course, we have that. And once again, all of this is public information. None of this should ever be charged for. This is free. And then, uh, I say free, it taxpayers paid for this. <laughs> all of you paid for this. <laughs> every time you go out grocery shopping, every time you make money in your job, every time you've made a major purchase, bought a car, every time you pay car tax, uh, a lot of that helps is associated to specific taxes and whatnot. But there's also a portion of that that goes to things like this. And now back to the uh, solar activity. And of course, we're looking at the GOES imagery of the sun right now, SUVI. And this is showing us real-time imagery we're watching the same time the scientists do to be able to see activity that's happening in the sun we get to view under many different angstroms which is different measurements of light and then on top of that we got the soho imagery we have the um the magnetogram <laughs> magnetogram we have the michigan models that tell us about the magnetosphere and we have uh measurements from the NASA ACE uh, technology on the NASA wind satellite and we have also measurements from the Discover satellite by NOAA which is also a collaboration with NASA and NOAA and all this information from the GO satellite to the Discover satellite to the, the wind satellite once again this is all free information and whenever you go into any channel and you look at this stuff Every single bit of this is public domain information. Every single bit of it, you, you cannot specifically monetize it. It's actually illegal to do so because you're taking someone else's work and a government's work, in that essence, and you're trying to make money off of it. That, that's unethical. And uh, the government definitely will not approve they're not getting their cut. <laughs> but the point is, it's, it's, you're not allowed to do that. You can't go to NASA Goddard and start pulling their videos off their YouTube channel and trying to charge for it. People have done that and they get their YouTube channels eventually banned once it gets called out. All right, moving on. Of course, you know we have the uh, SDO satellite imagery, uh, which is the high resolution imagery is also near real time. It's a little bit slower. It takes a little bit longer because it's pulling higher resolution images than the GOES uh, satellite imagery. And uh, and there's there's so many things on this that there I have about 150 to 200 sources of information presented on this channel. Uh, maybe more than that now. I, I've lost count a while back. I stopped counting a while back. But the point is, every single bit of this information, every single point of data, every single part of this is free, and it's completely available online. It's completely available via the actual sources directly, which I will gladly give anybody. 
The only thing that makes this channel different than you would see in many other channels is purely because I created a program on many of these different ones to be able to interlay it and isolate it and sometimes enhance it or to make it run a specific way. And that's it. That, that's, that is the only manipulation I have done to this so that I can make it present in a way that I want it to to give a full story. But this data is completely free and should never be monetized, is my view of it. The only people that deserve the right to monetize this would be the actual scientists. And people like Dr. Tamitha Skov, who has a brilliant mind and be able to teach other people this stuff way better than, than I could, and I learn a lot from her. So th that is what, when um, I talk about, you know, what you should monetize, what you shouldn't about this, this stuff, and why I don't monetize my channel if anyone ever asks me, which does happen periodically, it's because it's unethical. <laughs> the scientists did the work. You already paid through it for tax dollars, and the information's presented public domain. On all three of those bases, this information is unethical for someone to take and to try to charge someone for it. So yeah, I, I, I went and took a several hours break. I'm still quite upset about it, as you can tell. I'm a little bit rambling, but I'm really, I really took offense <laughs> to YouTube playing a backdoor to try to make a couple of bucks off this channel when this channel was specifically designed in a way that it was never meant to make money. Because I care more about the science and the truth than I do about making a couple of bucks. So I just wanted to make a quick video explaining some things about this channel, explaining what it is and what it means and why I do it. I know it's not very in-depth, but it covers more of the, the battle I had today <laughs> overall. But I'm also all, always up for questions and things of that nature. For me, science is a passion. I love it. It helps keep my brain from turning into pudding. So always up for a, a discussion of science. Even if I don't agree, that's, that's not the point. That's not what science is about. It's not about everyone always agreeing. So definitely feel free to start a conversation. The only thing is I do try very difficult, try very hard to not have any politics on a channel or any conspiracies on a channel. Now, there is a bit of a line between what would you consider that, but the way I do it is if you have data, raw data, real data, that backs up your claim, then you can make a theory on it. If you're saying you have no evidence, but you got a gut feeling, <laughs> that that's not something that can be claimed scientifically. I can't go by that. Um, like people say that the sun, its activity can cause earthquakes. And the thing is, a lot of people don't realize there is data that, that's, that does back that. But it's not enough to confirm it. Not even close. But the point is, there's enough data that you can make that theory. And it is sound. But it can't be confirmed yet. <laughs> so that's one of the things, like, that's not conspiracy to me. That, that is a good theory. People say that the activity on the sun has a magnetic impact to Earth. There's scientific facts that say that's possible. While the limited ability of that is also quite explained through a lot of the research, that doesn't stop a little bit expounding on that still being valid. So once again, I still consider that a valid theory. But if you were going to say the Schumann residence, it encompasses the entire Earth, which yes, it does. But one reading can tell you everything about the entire Earth's encompassment of the Schumann resonance. That is where it's wrong. It is a localized reading, much like the K indices and A indices that read your K index. Without the readings from multiple locations in those small amounts of radius, radiuses, we don't have a legit reading. You can't tell you what's happening in, in 30, 40 miles down the road by our Schumann resonance reading in one location. It has to be many, many locations. And that's the problem with the Schumann resonance, resonance is it requires a reading far more frequently than the K and A ind indices. So you can get away with K and A indices with a greater distance apart between different readings and still have an accurate depiction upon what's happening on the K index for the planet. But you cannot do that with the Schumann resonance. 
you would have to have a reading between every 30 to 100 miles before you start getting a good, well, actually 30 to 100 miles will actually give you a very accurate reading, but it's just not feasible. But you would have to have something far more than just the one independent station in Russia. That's all we have. So you, when I, people talk about the Schumann resonance, I call that conspiracy because there's not enough data to confirm it as a legitimate source of intel for reading information. So that, that's, that's where I draw the line. But uh, yeah, but I'll still talk about the Schumann resonance because it's actually based upon a legit science. But uh, unfortunately, evidence proves the Schumann resonance does not have a honest depiction of what's happening. It, it just doesn't, unfortunately. And a lot of that has to do, once again, it's not feasible through such a limited amount or limited scope of data acquisition. Anyways, I'm rambling. Like I said, still quite frustrated from earlier today. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to come out and just lay this out there. I'm going to upload this as a video on um, what happened earlier, if anyone caught part of it, and anyone saw my Twitter, you know, calling YouTube names and stuff because they this put me into a bit of a tantrum. <laughs> Lost my temper a little bit. Uh, so this, this explains it, and this explains my passion. This explains that, for me, this is a point of integrity, and I have no... I can't be bought. No amount of money will ever change my mind. It just won't happen. So, and that's it. So, <laughs> thank you to all of you, and without you, this, this wouldn't be a community of science like it is. So it takes, takes the team, takes everyone that has a question, everyone that has an, uh, any kind of information or understanding. We share it. We learn together, and that's what makes it important. Cheers and science on.